So I think the light switch has flipped on. This might be our last shot at this guy. It's frustrating to start it on out frustrated. It is full rut, man. It is rocking right now. I don't think we could have timed this any better. It could backfire or we could come home with a trophy, so. Am I dreaming? talking about this evening for about five days now and this might be our last shot at this guy for quite a few days with the wind switching but we got good conditions this evening now we just need the big fellow to show up give us a chance it's now or never this is my last time for uh, probably five or six days. And I would love to get one killed before Jason and Tombo show up. So we'll see what they do this evening. Come back here in a few days uh, with the boys. And the weather's supposed to be awesome then. So I think that's going to be a killer three days. Hey, what's up? Well, you're ready. You ain't gotta get ready if you stay ready. <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? Appreciate you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I do like Tombo yeah. does. So see, like, he draws pictures, like, in his... And his face paint. Uh, I don't know what that does on trout today. Let's see. I don't know if it blend in better. I, I really don't know what's going on with that, but <laughs> I don't know. We'll give it a try. See what happens. If not, it's Tombo's fault. <laughs> it's always Tombo's fault, for sure. And I love that he's getting here after me so that he's not coming in here cherry picking deer. So I think it's the first time I've ever been here first, so I get first crack at whatever roach he doesn't want to shoot. <laughs> so I've been using these Matthews bows for, gosh, almost the last two decades. But I can remember back 10 years ago shooting a Matthews thinking there's no way they can get any better. And then every year, you know, they seem to be smoother, faster, a little more forgiving, and just all around more efficient. I have no idea how they do it. Here's the biggest thing with these bows and any bow for that matter is you can have all the coolest, latest gear on it. The best thing you can do is just get out and shoot. I think I'd rather just tell it like it is and that it's frustrating to start a hunt out frustrated. It happened. We just spooked a big deer, and that's why I keep looking that way. I saw one run off that looked eerily similar to this deer we're hunting. Uh, which, you know what that means. 15 minutes earlier, we might be done right now. So I think the light switch has flipped on. So they're, they're moving and it's early. It's probably two o'clock right now. So uh, this should get really interesting tonight. Got the big three here, me, Tombo, Rochi. Get all the rest of the riffraff out of here so we can do some work. 
I hope these deer don't come out and ruin my snack. I don't think I could shoot them. I'm serious. See my heat, because he gets, when he loves a deer, he loves oh, yeah. that deer. Yeah. Well, you would have to like, I would, you'd have to cuss me. I would recommend it. We got in here fairly early, fortunately, but the wind was already marginal. And now we're getting some, we're getting some, some swirling back in where all the deer come from. So instead of being indecisive, we're going to roll out right now and hike around, kind of take a roundabout way to get like 250, 300 yards from here where the wind should be a little better. Relocated. Like this is absolutely his, his home right back in here. How did it do? I don't Is know. It, I'm finding you, a piece of it. Can you fix it, Jason? What's that? Can you fix it? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get right on that. Yeah, it's good. Do it. Oh, go. <laughs> I just do. Well, how do you, how do you, what's your answer for these wires? Take him. Oh, 
Ready. Ready. Let's rock. It is full rut, man. It is rocking right now. I don't think we could have done this any better. I've actually totally forgotten about this set. And it's cool being back up here because it's been, again, quite a few years. I got a lot of stuff in my brain right now. Thomas Martin Show. Mm. It's going to have to be on a different platform. Just a perfect rut spot. It could backfire and royally suck. Or we could come off with a trophy, so. Hang tight, we got plenty of daylight. High expectation. I'm way more positive today than I was yesterday. I like it. Can you feel it? Hey, what are you doing? You doing all right? Mom sent me pictures of McCoy. It's killing me. Hey. You're doing absolutely nothing. Rattle that sucker in. I like it. I like it. I'm serious. If I can, if I can help with that. I'm happy to. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, we're we got about 30, 45 minutes of light, so I'm gonna see if I can get something done. All right. I love you. Okay. Love you. He's dead right there. Am I dreaming? <laughs> hey, we said we were either gonna look really stupid or be brilliant. Oh. 
we've been bouncing around with how to kill him. We were gonna get back in the locust. Wind was wrong. All right, we'll go to another stand that we haven't seen in three years. We think a tree fell on the stand, but we're gonna make it work. The wind's a little better. And then we went with option three, which was no, we're gonna to go to the oak tree where he was seen five days ago. And on the way driving, I told Jake, I said, man, there's a set in here that I haven't seen in, in maybe a decade. I put this set up here in 1999. I said, let me go see if I can find it because that's kind of right in his home range. It's really thick. There may be no shots, which this shot right at my cam, my cam was up against the tree. Then I had a look, and he's so close, I didn't want to stop him because I've tried that before and they've blown out. So I just shot him through this little window on the move. I mean, 10 yards straight down. He is big. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say it again. That's why I love bow hunting. Just play the chess game. Try not to get too greedy, but it's middle of the rut and you can, there's a little more room for air. Oh, thank you, Lord. And man, how nice is it when you get to see them go down? Mm. Let's go see him. Let's go get him. Come on. Oh. Let's go see him. Is the smell of a heart shot. Oh, he is massive. Good grief. Oh my gosh, look at the mass. Pick the right spot. Oh, we decided to do something that we knew was going to be really stupid or brilliant. And he's just strolled right in. It's unreal. Can you see that on this side? Just the webbing over here. See, 18. 18 ish points. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we talk about it all the time about the group hunts being the best. And this is kind of a modified group hunt, but man, having Tombo and Jason here, Bo Dotley, coming out of retirement, makes it so much sweeter. Yeah, he's big. <laughs> I can see it from here and it looks ridiculous already. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, he's way better than I thought he was. Oh, dude. Look at that left side. Oh my goodness. That is a stud, my man. Oh my god. I don't understand. Like that head. Are you ever gonna let anybody else make the wall? Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't have I would have not sent anybody to this spot. Was it a timber spot? Oh yeah. Nowhere near food. Can't see anything. And I hung it in ninety-nine. When was the last time you sat it? Probably 99. 99. <laughs> I was on the phone with Mo. I was talking to Mo for 30 minutes. Yeah. Whispering. 
and we hadn't rattled in a while, so I handed Jake the horn, and I'm like, Jake, rattle that sucker in. Quit jacking around. He rattles. This sucker yeah. comes strolling yeah. through. He come in, like, looking to fight, or was he just kind of cruising through? Uh, he was just kind of meandering it. through. So, so I don't know, you know, I don't know if, if the horn's rattling or redirected yeah. him there. Yeah. But, not but anymore. he did come right under the tree. Look at the palmation on that left beam. That's forward, didn't yeah. That's it. Okay, matters. That's ridiculous. That is stupid. That is stupid. Good. Very happy for you. <laughs> Very happy for you. I know you are. Yes, I am. Actually, that's a hammer. Uh, I'm kind of happy. I was glad I got to I love, see it in person. I love doing it with you guys here, but I hate doing it with you guys here. What are you talking I, about? I feel bad. Oh, but you never feel bad about anything. No, I did for about five seconds, and then I was over. I've never, I've yeah. never seen you feel bad about anything. Well, that is, Dang, dude. dude, I'm just glad you got him. That's you've got, pretty good. You got, mm. a, you got a knack, dude. Very good. He's got a horseshoe buried up his is what he hit.